Hi, this is Khalid Name, Talking VFX Trainer. I hope you're all safe and well. In this tutorial, we are going to stick a logo or slogan on the top of this walker coat. For this purpose, we will be using a new feature called Surface Tracker. Surface tracking allows us to track a surface that has undergone a distortion caused by the movement. This tracking data gives us the ability to apply whatever we try to compose. At the top right of your screen corner, under your effects, type SUR. It will bring up Surface Tracker. Now, drag this tool directly onto your node tree and drop it in that way. It will connect up automatically. And it will also ensure that you have those additional inputs that you need. There are four steps to using this tool. Bounds, Mesh, Track, and Result. By default, Bounds option is enabled. And we can start drawing in the area where we want our logo to be. With the Mesh tab selected, you will see all these dots appear. At each point, it will be tracked, and you will get tracking data from it. So you can control it, you can increase the number of points, and reduce it up. In Mesh tab, we have two options, Automatic or Uniform Grid. What is the difference between the two types of Mesh? Automatic mesh it's generated by software algorithm. But you can change the arrangement of these points and move them as you wish. But you must confirm by clicking on mesh regeneration. We have also a uniform grid option where we can alter how many number of points and how spaced out those points are. But just know that the more tracking points that we tell. Resolve to have the longer it will take to perform our track. Then we can come over to our tracking options and by default set it to faster. We choose better option here that will take longer, presumably yield better results. As you can see, our frame of reference is not positioned at the beginning of our video. So, we have to choose track forward then reverse. Then, launch our track. Our track is done. Now select the surface tracker again and hit result tab under overlay placement option. Now we are going to add our logo to it. So let's open our media pool. Take our PNG and drag and drop it. With this mat selected, we hit Alt S. Then, drag our logo output to Surface Tracker input. The same with Alpha output. Now select the Surface Tracker again, and hit Result tab under Overlay Placement option. Hit Go to Reference, this little grid appears. Now we start making some tweaks all around until we see the logo inside. So you can just drag those corners to get a good perspective. Make sure this alpha output here is connected to our PNG. Now we start making some tweaks all around so you can just drag those corners to get a good perspective. We 
we come back up to our surface tracker node and open up this compositing option. This is where you get your blending modes. So, we are going to set this to darken. Just again for example's sake, but that's how you will alter the blending modes. Sometimes, we have a logo, or a graphic composition, created in Fusion Tab. And we want to associate it to my surface tracker. Now, we are in Fusion page. We're going to open up our media pool. And grab and drop our logo elements. Let's starting to build our logo by merge node. Now, we add a second media out and connect it to our node. This is how you are going to get your source logo into the color page. As you see here, we only have one media out. And we want to add another one comes from the Fusion page. Right click, choose Add Source. Connect it to your surface tracker and connect up the alpha. Add some adjustment in blending mode, like you see. You will find the links for the elements used in this tutorial below in the description. If you have any questions, you are welcome. That's all. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And hit the little bell button to get instant notifications when we upload a new series of tutorials for you. If you are new here and you want to learn VFX, this is the right place for you.